and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 105. This is going to be part two for the Empire. All right, starting off, we are the Empire. This is going to be a map where my favorite strategy is going to be a little bit complex. We'll start by building a wireless, uh, I'm sorry, a relay tower there. It'll extend the reach and we're going to build up the left side right about there. From there, it'll be able to extend the reach up to this to this roof. Uh, the roof is basically, I do want to stress this, this is temporary. We do not want to make the roof a permanent place for building structures. From the roof, we can actually use that as a launch pad. Oh, let me go back here real quick. You're going to build a relay tower right there. Its reach will be right there. It should reach down to all, pretty much everything in that corner. Anyway, the relay tower on the roof will be able to extend all of our reach into this general area that I'm pointing. As soon as we reinforce a little bit of primary, we're going to build out in this area. We're basically going to use this left side as our primary flank. Reason being is, look at all this open space. This is where most of the consortium will be building all of their stuff. Unfortunately, Consortium has uh, only one of two ways. They can build a wireless computer right there. It'll extend some reach out here. They'll probably try to build a forward spawn right there. Maybe some supplies right about there. And then they'll try to build a, a power plant right there. And then from there, they'll have a wireless capability to start building another turret, wireless repeaters, and another spawn right next to primary. This will make it very difficult for us because they can get, uh, imagine us on this side of the wall trying to jump over, and boom, you got a turret right in your face with several other guys coming from your left and your right and possibly sneaking up behind you. All that area right there is exposed, so it makes it very difficult for us. That's why we want to build on that roof and build in that general area that I just pointed at. Another reason why I'm building up the left side of the map is all of this area uh, right here. Uh, this is a demonstration. I'm actually showing, notice how the way if they were to build some rockets or turrets or things right here, uh, it'll be very difficult for us to overcome this side because they have the wall for cover. So this corner over here on the left is what we're going to use as our flanking area. Our only weak point is right here. If their, their exos can stand back here and shoot everything off the roof, that's why I don't want you to build up or reinforce the roof. However, we do have some buildings on either side. This is going to be a nice choke point. It'll kind of help keep them out, but it also is a little bit difficult for us to kind of push forward past that choke point as well. All this area, power plant right there, we have a lot of space to build building power plants, rocket turrets, and other things to kind of defend that corner. We can also use this left flank to come off the left right here, pop off structures right there, and also be able to pop off structures, as you, of course, as you can see, that will be next to primary. One thing that is very significant with the uh, consortium is that they can build a wireless repeater on their side of the wall, one right here on the ground, and it'll put just enough range to build up on this left side where they can build in this nice area here. Um, if they do build on this side, it'll make it easy for them to come in right there, as you can see, and pop off any structures as you see going into primary. Now, this is where the problem is. If we build up the right side of the map, then they can simply just flank us from here, and then they can continue building up this side. They can build supplies, forward spawns all the way right behind us. Then they can sneak down this, this tunnel. Let me just point that out right here. They can actually build right in this area. They can put it up right up next to the wall. Uh, anyway, they can come down in this tunnel, capture all of our resource points, and then basically cut off all of our power right here and hit any other major structures. It'll be an easy win for them. So starting off, it looks very bad. We start off in the in the game and they're already capturing primary. So we're going to start with building up towards the left. Put a wireless repeater as far as you can get it out. Then build that to extend it up more towards the left. That range should be able to build right up on the on the roof.
from the roof, we can basically build a lot of structures without having to worry about any uh, of our uh, wireless computers getting uh, taken out. And then here I'm going to build a forest spawn on the very left. This is going to be our, our, this is where we're going to stage our flank. We're going to hit them from the left while they're trying to push down towards primary. Please resist the temptation to build anything on the roof until you have the entire left side of the map covered. So I'm going to put that power station right there for right now. Now I'm doing field tactics to get my guys some siege kits right away. Build the armory, and once the armory is built, then you select advanced kits and then do that research right away. Now, now my guys are still trying to capture primary. Now we need to reinforce them a little bit, get them some supplies, extend the range a little bit. And here we go, advanced kits. Now our guys will have siege weapons in 30 seconds. And they're just as I said, you can see that they're building a turret on our entrance into primary. So I decided not to build a turret. Consortium should have the advantage on this map if they want to come straight to primary because they have all these walls for cover and then the, the power can basically go right through the walls. As you can see, I'm still building up on the left side, putting up some supplies, putting up things, and as you can see, our XOs are taking out all of their wireless repeaters quite easily. Now I need to put some supplies for my men because they gotta have it. Then we're gonna have to reinforce it with, a, uh, with at least one turret. This will kind of help give our guys some temporary cover while they keep continue to flank from the left. There you see my guys popping stuff off from the roof. Now I was a little weak here so I had to build a second relay, uh, relay tower to get some power out there. Now that my guys have a much better chance at taking primary back, I'm going to put some supplies up in our front doorway. Now we can build our own independent power, so we're not always de strictly dependent on all of the relay towers. Excuse me, uh, yeah, uh, relay towers coming in. I put a rocket turret right in front of the doorway of primary. That'll temporarily keep some of their guys off from capturing it very quickly. I build a turret right here. This is to protect from engineers sneaking behind our lines and basically EMPing and then blow torching all of our, uh, our our power. Extend the power by building a little uh, a relay tower. Reinforce primary some more. Now we're gonna build up the right side. The right side is basically uh, the our right side, which is the consortium's left side. The consortium's left side is their strongest path directly to our base. So once you have the left side moderately reinforced, then you need to uh, pinch them by also coming up the right side. And as you can see, the left side is very difficult because they have a lot of range and they can shoot anything down that little narrow choke point. Building up on the right side also secures primary a little bit better. I'm going to put a rocket uh, a turret right there just in case an engineer tries to come up the back way and I want to keep the power structures, uh, I, I resist the temptation to put them on the roof. There's a lot of space up there but they all will get taken out. They can be taken out very easily from a very long distance. I'm still uh, taking the right side. I built some forward spawn, a two turrets and some supplies for my men. Uh, this will actually help my men to quickly uh, come up the right side and also flank them from both the right and the left. This also makes it easier for my men to also continue capturing the secondary resource points. Now they did have an exo pop off a structure all the way from the very far right uh, secondary so as you can see I'm out of power here but that's not a problem. We can just build a couple uh, relay towers to kind of get power back up there very quickly. They're, they're fairly cheap and I built two of them just in case. Another rocket turret because they were trying to really push hard down the right side. The left side still under attack. Again, their guys are using rocket, uh, their siege 
Uh, they're ex Siege Exos to take everything out as quickly as possible. This is going to be difficult because the left side is very difficult to reinforce until we move all the way up into this upper left corner. Otherwise, their guys can just pop off all of our structures fairly easily. Here's my second power structure. Now, their guys could have walked one XO all the way to the right side of the map and probably hit some of our power structures very easily if they really wanted to. But since we pretty much had them fairly pinned right up, we were almost in their face trying to uh, uh, attack them when we're right next to them. Uh, I didn't have to worry about reinforcing the bottom right ha uh, half of the map. I continue to build up the right side of the map, get some more relay towers, and put a spawn right there. Uh, that's a fairly decent spot. Uh, put a rocket turret, so that way it'll try to pinch any guys coming out the there. Uh, from our side, it's, it's their very uh, right entrance. And then we try to hit any wireless repeaters, as you can see right there in the middle. This will prevent them from reinforcing, building any turrets or anything else. They can still build stuff through the walls, but if we have plenty of things on the other side of that wall waiting for them, it'll be very difficult. Their only option now will be to come up the left side. As you can see, they're still pushing hard because that's their only option right now. This is very crucial. In this map, please put a radar station right about where I'm building it or a little bit more to the right. It's very crucial because at this point in the map, or at this time in the game, they will always swarm your men with a ton of uh, stealths and they'll just be running around cloaked, killing all of your XOs. It'll be very difficult for your XOs to do their job. Please uh, go ahead and put this radar tower there. It also helps out dramatically and it exposes all of, the, all of their men and all of their uh, buildings on your teammates map as well. This makes it easy for them to pick targets. Uh, I decided to keep coming up from the right since the left was going to spend a lot of time and money and we were already in their face so I put a uh, I put a um, relay tower right in the front doorway of their base put some power out here because I'm going to need that because uh, and then once the relay tower is built uh, just put a couple of flame turrets right up against their structures. It'll help distract. It'll help distract them while your guys continue to shoot down other structures. It'll take a lot of heat off of your men. And that's it. Once you guys uh, do that, it's just a matter of time before we eventually take all the rest of the structures out. Just keep building some more turrets and supplies uh, right up inside their base, and then that's it. You should uh, you should be able to take over it pretty easily. Well, that's it. Thank you. Like, subscribe, uh, give me your feedback. Let me know if you think this is a good idea or a bad idea. But overall, for Empire, this is the, in general, the best strategy I have. Thank you very much for watching.